NBC 26 News at 6, keeping you connected. And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. The first half of November will go into the record books as the second coldest on record. But now the weather pattern has changed after four straight days with highs in the 20s. Temperatures this afternoon running 10 to 12 degrees warmer than what we saw yesterday. And that resulted in highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s. And what you see is what you get here as we head through the next week or so. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. I don't have any 20s in the forecast. It's all 30s and even some 40s. Right now, temperatures are falling back into the 20s across much of northeast Wisconsin. It is 26 degrees already in Manitowoc. Meanwhile, we're looking at 29 degrees in Shawano. In the valley with clear skies, it is 30. We have calm winds in Green Bay under clear skies. We also have calm winds. The temperature is 28 degrees with clear skies, really nothing going on. As you can see, as far as the radar is concerned, we have dry conditions across Wisconsin. High pressure slowly building in from the north. It'll control our weather here for tonight and tomorrow before our next more significant weather maker arrives on Sunday. But in the meantime, we've got high pressure controlling our weather and underneath that ridge of high pressure today, temperatures were in the 30s to around 40 degrees and we can expect more of the same here as we head through your Saturday. Highs will be in the mid to upper 30s, very similar to what many of us saw today, but still below normal. The normal high is 42 degrees, which means tomorrow will be the 20th consecutive day with below normal high temperatures. On Saturday, we'll see a mixture of clouds and a little bit of sunshine. Generally more clouds and sunshine as we move through the day. Those clouds thickening up by evening and then that next weather maker moves over the state on Sunday with cloudy skies and the chance for a light wintry mix, mainly in the form of some light snow and some minor accumulations are possible. Tonight, look for slowly increasing clouds. Overnight lows will be near 20. Tomorrow, lots of clouds mixing with some sunshine. Temperatures will be close to what we saw today, maybe a couple of degrees cooler in some spots with more clouds out out there compared to what we saw this afternoon. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 37. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to shop with a cop. And we did that today. I forecast 36. The actual high temperature was 39, which means I've now hit 45 of the last 45 three degree guarantee forecasts. On Sunday, cloudy skies, a chance for a light wintry mix on and off throughout the day. Some light rain, some light snow, maybe a little bit of sleep. But right now, it looks like the bulk of it would probably probably be light snow. Once again, some minor accumulations, a dusting to perhaps an inch, especially north and west of the Fox Valley. On Monday and Tuesday, mostly cloudy skies, upper 30s, a chance for a rain or a snow shower each day. Not a big deal. Sun and clouds on Wednesday, lower 40s, but if we see enough sunshine, we could be looking at mid 40s. A bigger system moves through on Thursday with once again a wintry mix and then some cooler conditions as we head towards next weekend. It's time for the spring thaw. No? Yeah, really. <laughs> it kind of seems that way, though. It does. Yeah. It does. Uh, a big change from the last three to five days. A nice little break before it starts all over I'd again. I'd say it looks like our November winter.